the canal should stop disturbing the nation with bare fragitation. Wow. The leader of Lagos APC and Namdi Kano's critics, Joe Ibukwe, has resumed his fight against the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Joe therefore advised that Namdi Kano should be slow in his agitation for the Republic of Biafra, or he will encounter what he cannot face. He said no one can divide the country because Nigerian's peace is, is not negotiable. Here he reads, and I quote, Whenever I looked at Namdekanu, I laughed because he does not know what he is doing. He should slow down or be ready to face what is bigger than him soon. Nigeria peace is not negotiable. He should stop disturbing the entire nation with his selfish agitation. Those close to him should warn him. Nigeria is a peaceful country and we are happy being one, he said. <laughs> Hello viewers, so what's your take on this? That is Joe Igbukwe warning the indigenous uh, leader, Nandi Kano. To start with, is Nigeria really, really a peace country? Can we say this Nigeria is a peace country? Can we say this Nigeria is one? Can we see anything like togetherness in Nigeria? So sometimes when I hear people say this, uh, Nigeria, we are one. I look at them, I laugh too because... I don't think there is anything like that. Yes, those people that fought for one Nigeria, at a point they regretted it. I am talking about the uh, General uh, Gowan. Yes, General Gowan. At a point, he regretted ever fighting for one Nigeria because there is nothing like one Nigeria. We are talking about one Nigeria when corruption is the order of the day. We are talking about one Nigeria when a snake will swallow money in the office and today the matter is still in the court and there is no uh, persecution done to those people that actually kept the money there. We are talking about one Nigeria when Nigerians sleep with one eye closed. We are talking about one Nigeria that Nigeria is peaceful when Fulani is men have turned to another terrorist, but they refused to call them that. Fulani S-men have become a very big problem in this country, but nobody could stand to say what you people are doing is bad. And we are talking about one Nigeria. Are we still talking about one Nigeria when Boko Haram has been terrorizing this country for so many years? And the government could not do anything about it, if not the president of the Chad. And we are still talking about one Nigeria. We are talking about one Nigeria when these country, Nigerians are suffering. And those, those people that said they are politicians, they are the only one living in heaven. Every other person is are slaves, they are lords. We are talking about one Nigeria. We are talking about one Nigeria. Just look at what is happening. What happened? He just, <laughs> in fact, I don't know why this man should be saying this. Maybe because of selfish interest too. You are talking about one Nigeria. People donated money for this uh, uh, COVID-19 crisis to cushion the uh, 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 virus. Where is the money? What did government do to... To, uh, for Nigerians at these particular times. We are talking about one Nigeria. There is no love. There is no one Nigeria. See, I am not a, 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 an Igbo person and I am not a Biafran, but I am tired. I am tired of what is happening around. I am tired that the, the law made in this country is just for poor people. Look at what happened last week in Enugu State. A woman was sentenced to 90 years in prison. Why? Just that she collected money from people.
to help them secure admission in any good state university. But she couldn't do that. They said it's a fraud. Yes, it was a bad thing she did. All the money was five point something million naira. She did not collect it from one person though. But the judge gave her 90 years in prison. She's 30, 36 years old. So you see, the law of this country is just for the poor people. All these politicians have been busy looting money in this country. How many years imprisonment are they giving to them? Sometimes they will ask them to pay fine, they will go. How many years did they give to the former uh, Abia uh, governor? After how, how, how much money he took, dollars of billions. How many years did they give to him? We are talking about one Nigeria where people don't uh, uh, say the truth. We are talking about one Nigeria. There is nothing like one Nigeria. So if Nnamdi Kano is agitating for freedom, they should let them go. That is the truth. They should divide this country. Because if you see what is happening in this country, the, the so-called uh, Jordan part of the country are just the people benefiting from this country. Every other person is just the look, sit down look. So there is nothing like one Nigeria. It's just too painful that the leaders of Southeast are too blind to see that this man wants to bring light to them just because of their self, selfish interests. They don't want to lose their comfort zone because they are benefiting from the same country. These are the same people that are still castigating in Namdekano. Namdekano really mean good for them if they can open their eye and see. They are seeing it, but they cannot do anything because they are blinded with corruption. They are too comfortable where they are, but they are forgotten about the masses. We are talking about one Nigeria. Who is preaching about one Nigeria? If you are talking about one Nigeria, there is nothing like one Nigeria in Nigeria. Now, are we, are we going to talk about Boko Haram? We know what happened. The Boko Haram members, they were able to, to, to catch. They rehabilitated those ones. They called them names. They said they are what? Repentant Boko Haram. They gave them good life. Yes. Funny enough, these people could not even give them a single clue of where their leader is till when Chad did whatever thing he did to Boko Haram group. And he said they, are, they have repented. You gave them so many benefits, even to the extent saying they will go to abroad to go and study. We are talking about one Nigeria. Are they even considering of those people that have lost their lives? Those people they've made orphans. Those people they've made widows. Those people they've made widowers. Did they even think about those people? What, 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 what benefit did they even give to those people? Nothing. They left them. What of the homeless people? But those people that was responsible for all these things were given a good life. We are talking about one Nigeria. So Namde Kanu means good for his people. It's just too bad that people are too blind to see this. Everybody, see, I always say this thing. Is Nigeria will only be, will be free when they wipe out APC and PDP. Yes. These are the problem of this country. Do you know why? When we say the PDP, the PDP are bad. They're not doing well. Okay, you move to APC. It's the same people that is in PDP that will still go to that APC. They have umbrella at the corner of the house. When they get tired of carrying that broom, they will pick the umbrella and they will start from where they stop. You see, you see the reason why the problem of this country will not solve. Nigeria is sinking more and more. It takes only the grace of God to help this country to become one. So when people are saying one Nigeria, I laugh because there is nothing like one Nigeria. There is no love. We are talking about one Nigeria when the federal government will send a spoiled rice to give to the masses to eat. Then somebody will come and say, the rice is good for consumption. It's just that the rice changed to green color. But it's not that the rice is not good for consumption. It's good though. 
but you and your family cannot consume, uh, consume such food. And you want other people to eat and die. There is nothing like one Nigeria. So I disagree with you, sir. So hello viewers, what's your take on this? Don't forget to